Well, hi guys, this is LT Survival, and today's video, it's another unboxing because the other box is coming. I'm being late on that one. So box 78, uh, Camp Convenience. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. Gear pack box again, uh, as usual, my three level uh, box is, has come in uh, a couple of weeks ago. I've been delayed the uh, sportsman show and things like that with the CCFR and things like that. So I didn't have much time on doing uh, the box reviews. So basically uh, this box will give us some product that we use in camps um, or make camps or for establishing camps. So uh, it is a pretty good box uh, some of the items are pretty big so there's no not many items in it so to cover the value uh, again the advanced box is $99 uh, the estimated value will be 182 which is pretty good and the items are pretty good because it's not an item I would have gone and picked so let's start the review Again from Climate. Climate's pretty good make and they make all kinds of stuff. And in there, in a small bag, we have a hammock. I bought one last year, but this one comes with this strap to strap it up to the uh, the tree. So it's gonna be nice to try the different of this one and the other one. This one is, re is uh, supposed to be $87, so for a $24 box, you get 87 in value. Quite an astounding jump. Climate is one of the company they work with uh, a lot. And I'm really happy because they give us good product. Uh, climate is pretty good. Even though they, they kind of uh, stay in the lower branch, lower level of price. Uh, and at uh, Costco last year a nylon parachute type uh, amic was about $50 so $87 pretty good of course since the box is $24 we already exceeded the value of the total box and they gave they gave us a uh, a gratuity a something free a sticker from gear pack again I might just put one more the other way here on my uh, tool chest which is the, the knife uh, chest basic plus is of course the knife so one more to put in the chest and I have not enough knife <laughs> oh my god those that know me knows that I got pretty much knife m -Tech okay is uh your garage dollar store type knife but sometimes those knife even though they're low price or low quality or not sure of the quality you get you get something that's nice this one is all aluminum frame and the blade is peculiar i really like the the shape of the blade aluminum handles with orange liner and you can kind of see through the um, the handles there's cut out that brings you to the liner as a, an insert and the blade is flat it's a reverse tanto hooves foot whatever the name of the type of blades but it's kind of a reverse tanto and it's really interesting as a knife i'm gonna try to have you guys see can you oh yeah you see a little hint of the orange through and it's the liners hourglass uh spacer a liner lock and a blade that's really sharp uh m -Tech sometimes are surprising this one is the model mt 1060 it's a chinesium stainless steel blade um, and it's 
Olo grind, so very tiny behind the cutting edge. So this knife must cut a lot. It's kind of a hefty knife, but it is a nice shape, nice product, and I really like the uh, the pocket lip. I mean, if I'm tech, not sure my lighting is pretty good tonight. I'm not sure why. Okay, the uh, the depth of the uh, pocket lip could have been a little deeper, but it is at least a deep pocket lip, so which brings just that pointy uh, black and orange point uh, up of your trousers. So another knife, yay, yay me. <laughs> the next one, well, it's the last item already, but it's not the, the least. It's the Gerber Gator Saw. Well, it's a fold, well, basically it's a breakaway saw, axe saw, okay, with short blades. You've got a second blade that comes with it. I've uh, already pulled out most of the stuff in a sheet. In the sheet, you will find it, it unfolds and you have the second blade you've got finger finger um, things to pull the blade and use it on hand instead of using it on the frame and you've got all the parts uh, and you've got, oh yeah you've got a chainsaw that's why you have those finger things because one of the blade is that articulated kind of a chain saw blade that you're supposed to be able to cut a tree with so you can do a hand saw with it so you have a frame saw you've got a hand saw okay it's not bad it's a uh, pretty aggressive and you can pull it and cut yourself a tree uh, of course, you've got extension pieces so you can put regular blade. If you don't find those shorty blades, you can add, uh, where are they? Yeah, they're in the back. I'm going to try to pull out. Yeah, this is the second blade. Okay. Here's the second blade, smaller teeth, so you can do finishing work. I'm just going to pull out that last piece. It's a part of a frame piece, okay, that you have to your frame so you can use regular axle blades. So you've got a compact one and you can use the larger one so the blade is coming out and you have a bigger, a bit, a bigger part. I think I have a second one too. To make a complete hacksaw yes there is a second piece yes here it is it is so basically if you want to know how it goes together you just slip them in like that and the uh, the blade when she pulls she holds them all together so basically you can add another two part and your your front braces here so it's pretty good so you can take hacksaw blades from the regular one and the shorter one so that completes the uh, gear pack box and I must say I'm a fan I have renewed my uh, subscription so we'll we'll have another year worth of subscription so that's it but if you like it, I'm making these video very short because it's a kind of a review box of a box that sent my, me mystery item. So it's fun and I'm expecting the next box shortly. Hopefully uh, I'll have time to review it quickly. Um, things are getting settled pretty much and uh, we're, uh, we're back on track. So hopefully we'll, we'll keep running the videos. So Thanks for watching. Appreciate that you guys 
stay on to the uh, channel we'll go back to teaching a little more spring is about to show so it's going to be easier to be outside to film or in the shack yes and we'll see you back in the next video. well don't forget to give the thumbs up or down uh, subscribe and uh, share this video and we'll see you back in the next one